All right, well, at the very least, we can autopsy this drone. This small uh, robot appears to feel some... Uh, feel some so... Uh, yeah. Wow. This small robot appears to fill some sort of support role. We might be able to interface with its circuitry and possibly subvert it in the field. Let's see what we can get. This unit appears to be a drone, which is similar to the military drones we are familiar with. This particular example seems to have the ability to repair damaged equipment. Dr. Shen and I believe it should be possible to capture and repurpose these for our own use in the field. We can recapture them? Yeah, okay. Drone capture project available in the foundry. Sentinel drone project available in this foundry. Okay. We're confident that our arc throwers could be upgraded to allow the capture of enemy drones, giving us control of the flying drones for the remainder of the combat mission. Use the new project option in the foundry to undertake this project. And then this, we've been able to adapt an alien drone into a repair module for the shiv. While we had to sacrifice it, its autonomous movement functions, we've been able to retain its repair capability and use the spare AI cycles to improve the shiv's situational firing heuristics. Interesting. Okay. Those sound like they'd be pretty awesome, but... I don't need those exactly. We don't use shivs, so I don't need like a drone to repair it. I don't need a drone to upgrade it. But I do have to make a decision. We got enough heavy weapon fragments to be able to afford uh, certain weapons. So I can either go for the plasma sniper or the alloy cannon. I think we'll go for the plasma sniper mostly because it has a faster research rate and my snipers are also Definitely gonna be taking major use of it. So <laughs> we want that. The alloy can will be great once our assault guy uh, is up, but he's one person versus like three to four different snipers. Oh god, it's a terrorizing mission. Okay, <laughs> let's rumble. We are all out ready to fight. Although we still have wounded people. Ah, oh, this is bad timing. <laughs> it's <laughs> our support chick is down. Our best support chick is down. Well, this is a good reason to actually bring in another support person and level them up. I've been spending way too much time with one team, right? All right, so who's my second support? Amina. Okay, you are our second support. We need to get you up to sergeant so that way you can actually use the med kits multiple times. And everybody else needs to make some progress. We'll leave one person with an arc thrower. We'll leave the assault people with the arc thrower. I was gonna give him grenades, but I think we'll be fine. Because we have grenades everywhere else. All right, I might not have plasma sniper rifles just yet, but I got everything else. I'm just making sure that mentally I'm okay with this. I think we're fine. All right. So we're going to do the same thing we did Strike last one. time. Prepare for landing. Which is... Try and blow up as much things as possible. Mission request. Now obviously the this is going to be... A little bit more advanced. In comparison to the last time. It was just like, oh, floaters and chrysalids. Now it's going to be probably like mutons. And maybe a cyber disc. And then a chrysalids. Affirmative, Big Sky. Squad is cleared to engage hostile targets. Watch your fire out there. We have civilians on the ground. Repeat, Woo! civilians on the AO. Remember how I just talked about a uh, cyber disc? Well, there you go. All right, we have a heavy. And we can use this heavy to blow up those drones that it has. So that's what I'm gonna do. Because I don't have range for everything else. Alright, yeah, we're gonna blow up the drones, because once I kill this cyber disc, I don't know what the fuck those things are gonna do. I gotta be careful, though, because there's probably a civilian inside this building. And I don't want to kill them. This is too risky. All right. Well, we're going to just shoot this thing. What could I use? 
Running gun with dice. Oh, I had to do it beforehand? Damn it, I was hoping that because of the fact that it was highlighting, I'd be able to do what I want. Ah, oh, crap. Well, we're gonna run and gun. Because Overwatch doesn't matter to an assault. Ah! Two cyber discs! Excuse you! This is gonna be a bad day. Alright. And that is why flushes or rapid fire is awesome. Oh, and blue drones! Oh, I didn't even consider that as a possibility. All right. We're gonna move up and try to do some damage to this guy. Oh, right, the Overwatch. Ah, oh, shit. Well, it missed, but it also hurt my cover a little bit. Not too much, though. Okay. Uh, we don't really have that many people in position to be able to shoot this guy. And I'm worried about putting people next to that car. So we're gonna bring our heavy up. To the window. I'm probably gonna be able to shoot the drone, right? Ooh, I can double shot it, okay. Snipers to the rescue! Is satisfactory. You know, I think we're actually totally capable of taking on that base now. Hi there, little drone. Please don't kill that human. Thank you? Alright, let's see if I can grapple up to here. So, two cyber discs, pretty much from the get-go. Seems like it'd be a large chunk of the enemy forces. But we'll see what ends up happening. We're gonna play it safe. Cause I don't wanna run into any more enemies. There's the drone, we don't care about the fucking drone. Come on, little drone! All I want to do is shoot you! <laughs> Beep boop this, motherfucker! I'm about to start keeping score. That was kind of depressing, it just kind of fell over. Alright, we're gonna move our assault characters together. Actually, no, this is the support. What the fuck am I talking about? Never mind then. Double time. Like I said in the last terror uh, terror mission, killing is our major goal because I'm not running to every single civilian. Fuck them. All right, so that indicates where the hell the enemies currently are. Rolling. Get out of here. But I'm suspecting that there's gonna be trouble in here as well. I'm gonna run and gun. All ass. Stepping off. Okay, so far so good. We're fine. We're gonna Overwatch, overwatch that. On the move. This is gonna be dangerous. Can I grapple over there? I can just run. <laughs> All right, so this should allow me to snipe anybody who's in that little area to the left. Keep your head down. We're gonna hope for the best there. Orders confirmed. Moving out. 
Roger that. I am fully expecting another cyber disc right around this corner. Maybe there's just three cyber discs. I don't know. We've lost three people? It doesn't seem like the rate of death is too quick. Although I might be corrected. What the hell is this? Oh, it's the cyber disc. Okay, good, 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 good. I can kill this thing. I just need people to be nearby. I don't think he even sees us just yet. So this will be a surprise to him. <laughs> what the fuck? Who did that? <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't understand what the hell you just said. They're falling back. I doubt that. Okay. Uh, my shotgun guy can run and gun. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Speed of death. Good copy, moving on target. No, not another cyber disc. I'm all right. All right, time to flush this thing to death. <laughs> it didn't even last that long. Oh, wow. All right, we're gonna move over here because we know that somebody died in that area. It might have been the cyber disc shooting him, but. I doubt it. Move out. Moving to position. And then we'll move over here. Or we'll move even further up, position actually. <laughs> I'm trying to move my sniper and I accidentally opened the door. Moving out. I'm gonna stay over here just in I case there might be another enemy to our right side. I wanna cover our back. We're green to go. Okay. Don't know how that guy just died. Hostile spotted. God, these cyber discs. Okay. So I can't use another running gun on it, but I can trigger its shenanigans, obviously. Or not. Shit. Look at me! I have fancy armor! What the hell? That didn't work. Oh well. Let me see what the fuck's going on over here. How'd that guy die? What did he die to? I thought there was gonna be like an enemy over here ready to blast, but nope, not really. Moving to Overwatch. Okay, we want to do some damage to this guy, but we only have two people who can do it. So that's really unfortunate. I can snipe it. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna maneuver over here. Double time. So that way we might be able to get a good snipe on, or a grenade on it. I mean, the next turn we're gonna be able to flush it, so I uh, rapid fire it, so we're gonna be good. Ooh, disabling shot. Okay. That might save us a little bit. All right, uh, who's our lowest ranked person at the moment? I think it's our, this chick actually, okay. So we're gonna lower the thing's health down lo uh, enough to maybe get the That's kill with her. What's the chances of hitting 60%? It's huge, <laughs> but okay.
Does this guy have suppression? He does. Awesome. Oh Alright. Suppression will guarantee a couple of hits. I'm on it, Commander. Oh shit. Negative damage. <laughs> That's not what I wanted! All mission objectives completed. Ah, well. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to just level up my support chick up a little bit. She'll probably still get a XP. Flawless effort. Not a single casualty. Yeah, she got some XP. She didn't get any kills. Poor Amina. Look at Gabrielle and Archer. Or Archie. Holy shit. 32 and 30. <laughs> That is getting ridiculous. All right. Uh, killing a flanked or uncovered target with a sniper rifle does not cost an action. Allows both actions to be used for standard shot, headshot, or disabling shot, provided no moves were made. Ooh. I like this. I don't think, I think in the zone sounds awesome, but that would assume that we make enemies get uncovered. Although, no, we don't use our sniper as a flanker. We still use them pretty long range, just not as long range as a Gabriella. So we're finding that. Gabriella is obviously going to get double tap as well, because being able to shoot twice, or being able to shoot and then do a disabling shot, or being able to do a headshot and then a finishing shot, that'd be awesome. I'm assuming that's what it means. All right, confers a reaction shot against an enemy who recloses within four tiles. Adds one damage on critical hits for each enemy the squad can see. That's gonna be great for uh, the other assault. Okay, we got 21 weapon fragments. That's a pretty decent junk. Remember, we will be watching. And we lowered the panic for Europe, so they're not—they're fine. They're chill. They're more chill than every single person on the planet. Argentina, Brazil, Egypt, South Africa, Nigeria, everyone's just like, oh, everyone's gonna die. What's going on here? No one's saving us. I'm sorry. If we could afford two Sky Rangers, that'd actually be pretty awesome. I'd love to see an XCOM mod where you can control two different missions and you have to like multitask both of them and figure out what the hell you're trying to do. All right, we're gonna see what happens here because I'm assuming the next thing that's going to occur is the council report. Oh, geez, okay. Exalt operation, research time lost. Two days? Exalt information warfare is corrupted research data, mother... Well, they revealed themselves, so that's good, I guess. Let's send out our standard chick, which is... I have to see her name to remember. Um, I know she has a genetic mod. So I guess it's Amia. Do we have two Amias? No, we have an Amina and an Amia. I keep getting them mixed up when I think of Amia something. Okay. Let me check something, actually. Okay. So we have carapace armor, right? Or chitin plating. Yeah, there you go. How many can I make? Only one. That's fine. Okay. I'm going to give our covert operative chitin plating for this particular mission, and I'm going to yank it back. I don't know why it keeps on choosing her. I guess because she's the highest ranked person we have. My first colonels are the snipers. <laughs> oh, I used them way too much. All right. Load out. We're going to give her... Chitin plating. I don't know what that gives her exactly. Confers four extra health. Reduces damage from melee attacks. Okay, see, that's that sounds pretty good. It doesn't show it here for some reason, but whatever. Covert operative deployed to disrupt exalt cell in France. All right, we're gonna hope for the best there. We got our plasma sniper rifle delayed a little bit. Well, that's fine. 
it's finished now. Perhaps it was inevitable that we eventually be called upon to develop a weapon of this kind, just as we did with the advent of laser-based weapons. By concentrating our efforts on a single, focused discharge of plasma and ignoring some of the previous design constraints regarding size, weight, and right rate of fire, we've developed an extremely lethal long-range weapon. Our snipers will undoubtedly be pleased with this weapon's ability to devastate hostile targets from previously unheard of distances. And I don't think it even costs that much to make for us, let's see. Uh, let's see. Plasma sniper rifle, 174. Look at that. All right, so we can afford one at the moment, and then in the next mission, we can get our second one. There you go. <laughs> oh, I'm happy with that. All right. So what are we doing? Oh yeah, we're just getting. Commander, our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. Ooh, I don't think we're gonna get our satellite nexus, man. We are not gonna get our satellite nexus. <gasps> we got our satellite nexus before the council report! Oh, we did it! Satellite nexus online. By what's probably a few measly hours. Right? No, I'm wrong. But I'm not wrong? What the fuck? <laughs> okay, see? It says upcoming events, satellite nexus, but we did actually finish it. Whew, okay, all right, we can make, we can send five up into orbit just like I figured we were able to. Satellite launched. Satellite launched. Satellite launched. Satellite launched. Yes! Full map coverage! The aliens will never surprise us. We know where everything is now. That's gonna reduce the amount of abductions, probably completely, but oh well! Now we're super rich. We are mega super rich. We can't afford a shit, but we're mega super rich. So that's nice. And that was Skype. <laughs> I'm sure someone looked there. <laughs> All right. Incoming transmission. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations. And that is not a statement this council makes lightly. Look at my monthly re reward, man. 2,151. <laughs> oh, if only I had they the weapon fragments. Touch, Commander. If only I had the weapon fragments. Okay. Let me make sure everywhere is good. We have two people in each place, so I'm not, not fretting about that. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Look at this. We can get fast research for almost everything now. All right. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. So... I think we're good. I don't think we need to make anything else yet. Until later. Although, I could remove some things. Because we have an excess of, ho of power at the moment. So... I could build a laboratory here. And a workshop here. Just so that way we have just one last little bit of help. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Because I don't know what's gonna happen. Although I'm, I'm still gonna go for a laboratory. But there are a couple of buildings that we're not gonna be able to make for a while. At the very least, though, I can afford tons of things. I can make a couple of Titan armors. I can make some more plasma rifles or plasma snipers. We're gonna make one because we only use one other guy. <laughs> now I just need the resources to actually make everything else. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're ready to assault the alien base. So that way we can progress onwards with the story and everything else. 
We have our, our plasma sniper rifles. We might not have plasma everything else. But that's going to have to wait. potential applications for this sort of tech would have been limitless if the aliens had only come in peace. Right? But then why would we be making plasma weaponry if they'd come in peace? Times of war, man. They bring in crazy things. But that's just one thought process. Oh, God. Can I go all the way to the surface? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, I can go all the way over here and sort it to the surface. Okay. Damn, we're really far underground. I didn't realize that. <laughs> all right. Well, you know what? I'm going to take a little bit of a break, and then I guess we're going to go storm the alien base.